Hello and welcome to this FDT video tutorial. Today we will show you how to insert and configure a micro SD card in your FD7901 and 7903 pan tilt IP cameras. We will also show you how to record video footage from your camera directly to the micro SD card, as well as how to play back that footage on demand on your PC or on the go from your mobile device. Before you begin, please make sure your FDT camera is plugged in and is connected to your Wi-Fi network. If you haven't already configured your camera using the FDT View app on a mobile device, please check out our other video titled Wi-Fi Setup for a New or Existing Camera. Also, if you haven't already installed the IP search tool and set up your camera using the web user interface on your computer, please view our other video titled FDT Camera Desktop Access Setup. Once your camera is connected to your Wi-Fi network and is added to the FDT View app, your camera is now ready to receive your micro SD card. You can use any micro SD card brand on the market of your preference. Since live video will be recorded directly to the micro SD card at high resolution, it is best to choose a class 6 or higher micro SD card for optimal recording and playback speed, and to safeguard against video skipping and choppy recordings. Your camera will support micro SD cards with a capacity of up to 32 gigabytes. On the FD7901, the card slot is located on the back of the camera. Please insert your SD card with the gold contacts facing down. Insert the card all the way until it clicks. On the FD7903, you will need to remove the camera dome cover to access the card slot. To do this, you will need a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the four screws holding the exterior lock ring and a number 1 Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the four interior screws holding the clear plastic dome cover. Once removed, you can access the card slot which is located under the flat edge of the camera. Please insert your SD card with the gold contacts facing toward the camera lens. Insert the card all the way until it clicks. Once that's done, on your PC or Mac, launch the FDT IP search tool. Then locate your camera in the list and double click it. Your default web browser will open with the FDT web user interface login page. Type in your credentials and press login. The Live View screen will display in the web UI. At the top of the screen, there are three options, Live, Playback, and Config. Let's start with the Config option to learn how to schedule recordings, and then we will cover the Playback option later in this video. Go ahead and click on Config. Navigate over to the Option menu on the left side of the screen and click on Advanced, followed by Timed Recording. Your camera comes set up by default to record continuously. Here you can select the duration of each file recording from 15 to 900 seconds. When one file completes its recording duration, the camera will automatically start recording a new file right after it. Below is where you would enable or disable recording for your camera, as well as select which stream you want to record, first or second. Please note, to set and adjust the quality of your streams, click on Media in the Option menu and select Video. At the bottom of the timed recording screen is a 7-day, 24-hour calendar. It should come pre-filled red by default, which means it will record all day, every day. Or you can select specific time intervals as desired. Don't forget to click Apply when finished to save your changes. To set up motion detection recordings on your SD card, navigate over to the Alarm tab in the Option menu, then select Motion Detection. Below, Window 1 should be enabled by default, and the green rectangular motion detection area covers the camera's entire viewable area, and the sensitivity is set to 50, 
which can be adjusted later. You can enable Windows 2 through 4 and adjust the motion detection area on your screen to sense movement in a particular area. You can also adjust the sensitivity for each individual window. The lower the sensitivity, the more movement is required to trigger the alarm recording. The higher the sensitivity, the less movement it takes to trigger an alarm recording. For example, we set the area on the ceiling with low sensitivity, as it is less likely an intruder would enter through the air conditioning vents. And we set the area on the window to high sensitivity, as it is more likely a burglar would break in through a window. When you're finished, click Apply to save your changes. Then navigate over to Alarm Link in the Option menu. Next to Save Video to SD Card, select Enable from the drop-down box and click Apply at the top. Back in the Option menu, click Schedule. In the calendar, you can adjust the days and times you want motion alarm recordings to be active on your 7-day, 24-hour recording schedule. Click Apply when finished. If your SD card becomes full, or if you want to delete all the content and start fresh, you can format your SD card. To do this, click on System in the Option menu, and then select Device Information. Next to SD Card Status, below, click the Format button. Please ensure that you have backed up important content as this will delete all the information on your SD card. Now let's move on to see how to playback your recordings. At the top of the screen, click on Playback. On the left side of the screen is an option menu. Select the date of the recording you want to play back. You can also select the start and end times if you want a specific time frame, or keep the default setting of 0 to 24 hours. Choose SD Store to select your SD card storage. And for type, select the type of recording you want to play back, alarm or planned recording. Or you can select All Record to display all recordings. Then click the search button. If your camera was set up correctly, you should see a list of videos display below on the left. They are named with the letter of the type of recording first, P for planned and A for alarm. Then the date, followed by an underscore, and the start timestamp, then another underscore, and end timestamp. To play a file, simply double click on it or select it from the list and press the play button below. This play controller lets you pause or stop the playback, as well as move to the next frame. To adjust the playback volume, use the speaker slider on the far right. You can also open a video file from another saved location on your computer or external drive to play using this player. Managing recordings and playback is also available on the FDT View mobile app. First, launch the app and ensure your camera appears to be online. To schedule recordings using the mobile app, simply tap the gear icon next to the camera for which you want to schedule recordings. In the camera settings window, tap timed recording setting. Here you can specify the recording length from 15 to 900 seconds. This is where you can enable or disable recording and also set the recording schedule to all day or none. Once you're finished, tap apply to save your changes. To set up motion detection or alarm recording to your SD card, tap alarm setting and turn on motion alarm. You can adjust your motion detection to low, medium, or high. Tap Apply when done. Then tap Alarm Link Setting and ensure Record Video to SD Card is turned on and tap Apply below. To clear all the contents on your SD card, from the Camera Setting menu, tap SD Card Setting and tap the Format SD Card button. 
A warning will display, asking you if you want to continue. Tapping OK here will format your card, so be sure you have backed up any important footage before doing this. We'll tap Cancel here to keep our videos to view later. Now we'll move on to the playback of your videos using the app. Tap the back arrow to go back to the home screen. Below, tap the playback button. Then select your camera from the list. Here you will see all of your recordings. 24-7 planned recordings will display as plan recording. And recordings triggered by motion detection will display as alarm recording. To play a recording, simply tap on it. The video will automatically play in landscape or widescreen mode. You can pause the video or go back to the previous screen. Now you're able to configure, record, and playback video from your FDT camera on your SD card using the web user interface and on the go with the FDT View mobile app. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other how-to videos from FDT Technologies.